The consensus, I think, especially among community oncologists, is that the reason that um, so few patients get on clinical trials is that the system isn't really set up for the community oncologist to succeed. The trials are too picky, um, they're too labor intensive, and frankly, they cost money to perform. Technology can solve a lot of the problems that face successful participation in, in oncology trials. Everything from uh, uh, patient identification through identification of correct clinical characteristics that document that the patient is in fact eligible for the trial, through what uh, I think historically, and for old people like me, we remember the really thick binders. Case report forms, the ability to document um, the necessary details about the patient's clinical course while on trial that really were administratively a tremendous a burden. So um, I think uh, technology could really facilitate successful execution. And, and not only in the construct that we are accustomed to thinking about it, but if you, if you take it a step further, if you start thinking about just-in-time clinical trials or clinical trials that are dependent on a rare biomarker, patient identification becomes much easier because there's no longer a needle in the haystack phenomenon. And we like to think that we understand how all these drugs work and what the outcomes are gonna be, but things happen. And being able to query a system to look at alternative outcomes or a more comprehensive picture of the effects of the therapeutic intervention on on the patient, um, I think it, it, it's, just a, it's just a great opportunity. Uh, nobody wants to stay where we are in clinical trials, it just doesn't work.